hello guys welcome to this video from online to helper and uh, this is to helper on the youtube and uh, in this video today i quickly want to show you the different method you can use in creating your power fca smtp and send unlimited emails as you all know that power mta it's um a it's an mta system which allows you to host and to manage your own smtp which give you access to send unlimited inbox rates messages on your server okay guys so there are different kind of method you can use in building this and um, i'll be introducing you to just the the, um, the two to the, i will be introducing the two method of it and the number one here is um the auto the auto the process is um you writing some little commands you don't need to be uploading okay let me start from the first one the first one says the uploading of files on your so um so the method um goes like this let me open this um you can see in this process you will need to upload this file on your win scp so this is the win scp and actually you can also use bait files just like this so you do the uploading on this and you write the configuration you do your config you sorry i mean you type in the command line you do your config and it's ready and the second method here it's very simple to this um, though it's been similar by a bit but it's straightforward and very simple and this method says that you don't even need to upload all this you don't need to upload anything because it's going to be done in a command line for you so everything is done in command line which make it very simple to actually use even if you are a newbie to server you can actually grab our course and get started with it because it actually show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how you can Build your own server so let me just um, go around this method i think i have my server ready so and this is the username and the password so i'm just going to log in with the new server and let's see so you can just accept and save so the first thing um, we have to do in the end is that you have to set root account so you you actually need that you actually need to set your root so, and to do that, this command to do password the root, meaning that you are changing the root password for this. So you put in your password and you just hit the button. Okay, so all password has been set successfully. So you run a command to um, accept root login, and after that, you repeat this and you start working so i'm going to do all that and reboot the system so once you've done all this um, you actually need to reopen and you are not just to reopen this you we need to now open this time my hand as root so um this instead of centos it will be now root okay so I can log out this then log in with the roots again okay, because we've set our roots password. So once this is done, you open a new terminal console, then get the domain you want to use ready and set your host name. So for me, I have the domain I'm going to be using to ready using this. So you just copy all this and uh, you need to set your host name so this thing is then we can say host name and let's see if it has changed you can see it's changed now so you can put this okay so once that is done you can put this and it's going to reopen can see it's now showing that so which means this is where we actually going to work from so i have the commands and everything i'll be used already so i'm going to install my PO and let's see how it goes then i install the power mta which has already been um, pulled together 
you know, I said it earlier in this video that you don't even need to be um, uploading, uploading because the software, um, the scripts and the course guide is going to guide you through on how you can do all that without even uploading. It's very straightforward. You see how I'm going to upload and activate the license at the same time. So, so on this, I uh, just click on enter. And you can see it's installing version 5. Point zero advanced so it's installing this so you give it a time to be completed i think it's completed now then you move into the next um, process i'm going to run everything because of our time and you mind you this video is not um the full tutorial video so we have our two uh, the full tutorials video which will guide you on how you can build your own SMT server so if you are interested you can check on the description below this video and uh, get in touch with me so let's continue with the process here yeah? so um when you get to the configuration part of it uh, these are you going to do your configuration so i'm going to be using username to set password and so I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it right in this box and I'm going to save this as I said this is a very simple course which guide you step by step procedure you can let us say service PMT start let's see what going to can see it's okay meaning that our service uh PMT it's running. So the next thing you just have to do is to do the configuration on your domain manager. I'm using Namecube, so I'll do my configuration then. We we'll test if it's actually working. So right now my domain DNS is being configured, so we can just make a test and um, see how it's will go. So I will use Ultra Mailer. So you send that. And, um this uh, config okay from this uh, config position you will see that uh, our host name comes like this yes i think this is the one we use so this is from and, uh, on your Chrome, you can send from this the username, the username we just created, and the password. Password we picked, and this will be okay. This and uh, port 2525. Send that name can be this and. Uh, Reply to you can put one of your mail so you can say online to over at gmail.com. Okay, before we go, so let's reboot this report. This server, uh, let's wait a bit. Uh, once we do all this, but uh, once this is done, we can okay, think let's try it out now. So coming back here and say send a test. And I'll be sending to online to opera.com. Okay, then send test. You can see send test success. So to confirm this, let me open my Gmail browser and I'll say Gmail. Let's see if we is going to actually enter into inbox with this. So um, guys, if this is your first time of joining my video on my YouTube, you can do it by it's in the subscribe button you can see it's come straight to inbox this is it here you can see it's actually inbox zero minute ago so which means it's working and this method is working don't worry the next uh, video will be on the second method so if you would like to get uh, the next video method you can kindly do well by subscribing to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our related um, server and other marketing or tools you can use so thanks for watching this video and see you next time